Thank you, dear Mr. Chair, Secretary General of ITU, Excellencies, I2 family, ladies and gentlemen. It's my great pleasure and honor to be here on the Plenipotentiary Conference of ITU. And on behalf of the government of Georgia, I would like to express our gratitude and appreciation to the government of Romania for warm welcome and for excellent organization of this very important conference. As a matter of the fact, we are living in a digital world and information era where the access to the internet becomes one of the uh, inseparable part of our daily lives. The right to uh, access to the internet is one of the uh, main priority of the government of Georgia and it is guaranteed by the Constitution of Georgia. The internet is recognized as one of the most powerful instruments uh, for accessing information and facilitating active citizen partnership and participation in building of democratic society. Digital Bridging the digital divide is one of the uh, main challenges worldwide. In recent years, Georgia took active steps to accelerate the development of uh, digital economy and information society as well as um, innovation-driven economy. In order to maintain and increase the pace of development of digital economy and information society in Georgia, the National Broadband Development Strategy and its Implementation Action Plan for 2020-2025 was adopted by the government of Georgia. The key objectives of this mentioned strategy are fully in line with the European Union's Gigabit Society objectives for 2025 and are oriented to increase competitive pressures, attract investment, build the digital skills and demand. To host the regional digital hub in Georgia is one of our strategic priorities as well. All above activities uh, will contribute to achieve the strategic goals of the ITU, such as universal connectivity and sustainable digital transformation, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I would like to draw your attention to the regretful fact that the government of Georgia is de uh, deprived of the possibility to exercise its de facto jurisdiction over the ter entire territory of Georgia uh, within its internationally recognized borders among them in the sector of the telecommunications and information te technologies as a result of continuous military aggression against Georgia and the illegal occupation of the Georgia's inseparable parts uh, of Abkhazia and Tsinhmali region, South Ossetia, by, by the Russian Federation, which uh, further continues the blatant violation of the uh, fundamental principles and norms of the international law, Helsinki Final Act, the UN Charter and UN Secu uh, Security Council resolutions. Any action with and or in illegally occupied regions of Georgia in the sector of telecommunications and information technologies can be carried out only uh, in full respect uh, the constitutions and legislation of Georgia, the acts of the International Telecommunication Union, and fundamental principles and norms of the international law. All other cases represent illegal actions and violation of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Georgia. The international community must stand together and stand strong in support of the principles of sovereign equality of states and inviolability of their internationally recognized borders. And Georgia, of course, follows the norms and principles of the ITU Convention, Constitution and Regulations, and is ready to continue the close collaboration with the ITU family for further development of ICTs. In conclusion, I would like to, well, uh, to, to thank the uh, entire ITU team for this perfect work performed, and I would like to wish all of you successes in your further activities. Thank you.